Hi, I'm moody. I'm feeling moody and it's time for a moon message. Today's moon is the waxing gibbous face under the astrological sign of Pisces. This reading is for um, Virgo. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and north node Virgo. Holy Spirit, angel guides, spirit guides, what is the message for Virgo? Virgo, thank you to all of you who stopped by the channel. If you hear something you can resonate with, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and leave me a comment. Virgo, today's reading is all about secrets, all about secrets. And we're going to look at What's your secret desire right now, Holy Spirit? What is Virgo's secret desire right now? It's at top of mind. What does Virgo desire the most? What does Virgo want the most? Secret desire. Opening up this reading. Oof, one card. I love it. You want to separate yourself from something. You want to just walk away from something. It's over. The Eight of Cups. Something needs to stop. You feel the need to separate yourself. You secretly want to separate yourself from someone, something. You want a situation to come to end. What is Virgo's secret fear concerning this? Okay. Whoa. Bottom card. That you're not going to be able to make this happen. So you secretly want to get away from something that you're unable to make happen. Wow. Or you feel like you don't have everything that you need to make it come to fruition. I, your fear is that you won't be able to change this. To separate from this energy. To get away from something. You fear that you won't be able to do it. What is Virgo's secret weapon here? One card, I'm sorry. Ten of Pentacles. Your secret weapon is that you're very resourceful, Virgo. You know, you are very grounded. Um... You're blessed. You're blessed because the Ten of Pentacles is that you have everything that you need to carry out any mission that you're being set to do. The Daughter of Wands is about you're being asked to do something maybe new that you don't really feel secure. There are things that you're going to need to do to get away from this. You're not going to know whether, how to do it or when to do it, but you're going to be guided to do it. You're going to be guided to do it. You're the empress. Poof. You are the empress. Yes, definitely. And that's your secret love. There is, you love somebody who's strong, who's controlled, who is measured. You know, uh, to deal in this life, we have to be able to dole out certain energy at certain times. And know how much of it to dole out and when to dole it out. You know, the Empress is very discerning. They just have a knowing of what to do and when to do it. Yeah, that's your secret love. You want somebody who can match you. You want the Emperor. You want your divine masculine, your divine feminine, your Empress. Yes, you want somebody who is equal, comparable to you in love. Yes, that's it. And what does Virgo hate the most? Nine of Pentacles reverse. Somebody who can't stand on their own. Somebody who's dependent on Virgo. It's like the, that codependency. Virgo self hates to be dependent on somebody else. Yes, you do. Yes, you do, Virgo. And what is Virgo's secret power? Time. You're open to change. You're open to 
uh, listening to other people. You know, sometimes you're very slow to change. And that's it's not because um, you're lackadaisical or something. It's because you want to hear everything before you make a decision. The hangman is just, they're comfortable with waiting, you know. And I feel like you're comfortable with waiting. And that's where your power lies, Virgo. In in the area of you not making a move until you're ready to do it. Tell me more, Holy Spirit, for Virgo. How do these secrets help Virgo? The universe wants, to, wants what's best for you. And that's why he wants you to take some time to change your perspective. That's where all your power lies in you giving time, time, giving yourself time, giving this situation that you want to separate from. But you don't think you'll be able to do it because it's very complicated. Could have to do with money, but it definitely has to do with your stability you know, with your ability to start something. Mm. And in love, you need somebody who can match you, Virgo. I mean, ugh, absolutely. We all need that equal. Mm. That equal. You know, everybody has to be 100%. The emperor and the empress, they come with 100% individually. Asking for nothing. Mm. Mm hmm Anything else, Holy Spirit, regarding these secrets? Yeah, your perspective is about to be changed regarding everything. I think... Okay. Yeah, do not be impatient. Don't give up. Um, don't give out. Hold on. Take deep breaths. Slow down. Yeah, anything negative around you, pay attention to that. Because that will cause you to be impatient. And with this hangman energy, just, just more confirmation. Wait until you get all the information. See all the facts. Your power comes in not being reactive right now. In waiting. In waiting for all the facts. Don't make decisions based on guilt. Right? Or what you think you should do. Yes. Didn't I just say this? This is further confirmation, Holy Spirit, regarding what you want to get away from. There's something you want to walk away from. You want them to walk away from you. Something you want to separate yourself from. But Spirit is saying don't make decisions in haste or based on what you think you should do. Be true to yourself. Then you can be true to others. That's right. That's why your power lies in having time to change your perspective. That's what's going to bring the growth. Look at that. Power. You instinctively know what is right for you. And you have the power to say no or to walk away or say yes and to walk towards you have instinctually everything that you need. You have the wand, you have the sword, you have the pentacle, you have the cup. To everything that you could possibly need. You have all the power. You need to know that right now, Virgo. You're the emperor, you're the empress. Okay? You're going to do what's right for you. And you're going to do what's needed at the right time. You're right on time. That's what I feel. What else, Spirit? Anything else? Okay. Tell me about love for Virgo right now, Holy Spirit. Let's focus on love. How do these secrets help Virgo in love? How does... Virgo's perspective concerning love change. Mm -hmm. Staying optimistic, thinking positive, and having faith is bringing in that love. You're just vibrating high um, while you are 
gaining new perspectives, being patient, being open, uh, allowing change to come through. Just you're staying optimistic about love and thinking positively. Yes. What else concerning love, Holy Spirit? Yeah, it's it's worth waiting for. Divine timing is definitely at work in your life. Not only your love life, but in terms of you healing whatever you're trying to get away from. There's something, somebody you're trying to get away from. Something you're trying to separate from. You don't know if you have it in you to make it happen, but you, you do. You do. Um, your power, your perspective needs time to change, to develop, to come into fruition. And it's happening. It's happening. I see that happening. Tell me more, Holy Spirit, about this love that's worth waiting for that Virgo's being optimistic about. Tell me more about this patience. This new perspective. I got a new attitude. I hear that. Because you're so optimistic. You're vibrating higher. And mm, divine timing's at work. Mm -hmm. Sure is. You have the magician, the empress, and the hangman. Definitely at work in terms of manifesting what you want. That's why you're waiting. What you want takes time. It takes time. Yes. Your soulmate takes time to develop. Yes, it's taking time to develop this union. Mm -hmm. Taking time for these cards to fall too. Okay, spirit, is there something else with this deck? If not, tell me to put it down. Oh, wow. Do they come flying out now? Yes, there's something you're at a crossroads with concerning love. Somebody you're looking for a compromise with, commitment. Or maybe there's somebody you're at a crossroad with somebody concerning compromise and commitment. And Spirit is saying divine timing as at work. Everything is going to happen right when it's supposed to happen perspective is being changed not only yours but theirs mm -hmm. they're changing their perspective um time is needed here being patient right things are not going forward because changes are occurring divine timing is occurring continue to think positive this will result in a commitment in something very serious. What else, Holy Spirit? Mm. Yeah, the reason you're at a crossroad is because now it really takes compromise. You know, it takes a commitment. The next step here is to go all the way to commitment. So that's why things are slow. Patience is needed. Perspectives need to be changed. You have to wait for your empress or your emperor. Yeah, you don't want them to be a no-show, right? You don't want the, to be there and nobody show up. So Spirit is saying he has you waiting. He has you both at a crossroads. There's still more that's needed. He doesn't want one of you to show up and the other not to show, right? Okay, what else, Spirit? Yeah, this compromise involves you both coming a hundred percent you know for this to work for this to be perfect both the emperor and the empress have to show up at the same time prepared virgo for this love and just stay optimistic you know hang in there be patient the commitment is coming the compromise is coming this is divine timing at play and your love life is worth it you're worth it 
that's what I got for you, Virgo. I hope you were able to identify with something that was said. If so, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Leave me a comment. Until the next moon phase, thank you to all of you who have subscribed already. I love you deeply. And until the next moon phase, namaste.